everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I know that we usually go live on Friday for Freezer Meal Friday, but actually today we are all together as sisters and we are planning out the next 12 months of all the things that are gonna be happening on Six Sisters Stuff. And so we are pre-recording this so that we can have our planning meeting. But if there's something that you want to see on Six Sisters Stuff, whether it's recipes or what else can we do to help you? Like, leave us a comment, let us know, because as we're planning out all this stuff, we would love your feedback. So if there's something that you wanna see on Six Sisters Stuff, or if there's a recipe that you're dying for us to try, we would love to, um, to try it out and um, see if we can make it work. But leave a comment, let us know. But other than that, we are gonna jump right in and get started on today's freezer mail. So we, or I, am going to be making Instant Pot Shredded Beef Enchiladas. But really all that it is, is Mexican shredded beef. You can use it for tacos, you can use it for nachos, you can use it for a salad. It's just a super versatile, flavorful meat that you can use for anything. So let's jump right in. I have a two pound roast. Now in the recipe, it calls for like a three to four pound roast which is awesome if you want the leftovers or if you have a huge family you're trying to feed. But really you can use this for any size roast. So I'm gonna go with a two pound roast cause that's what I need to feed my family. And I wrote on the outside shredded beef um, enchiladas so I remember what I'm going to use this for. Now the other thing when you are doing a freezer meal of a beef roast, you want to write on the outside how many pounds um, the beef roast is because that's going to determine how long it cooks in your instant pot. Now, if you're cooking it in your slow cooker, it's pretty much one time for all the roasts. Like even for a two pound roast, I'd probably cook it for seven to nine hours. If it's like a three to four pound roast, eight to 10 hours. In the instant pot though, you do it by weight. And so a two pound roast, I'm going to cook for 60 minutes from frozen. That's 30 minutes per pound from frozen. If it's thawed, you're gonna do 20 to 25 minutes per pound, just depending on how your Instant Pot cooks. I tend to go a little bit higher, like 25 minutes, but, so that's how with the roast, make sure you write on the outside how much it weighs if you're using your Instant Pot. Okay, so let's jump into all the ingredients. We're gonna start with just one onion and I diced it all up. So go ahead, dump that in, and then we're going to add in one cup of salsa. Any kind of salsa will work. Um, when it's a 16 ounce container like this, I know I just need half. So I'm not even gonna measure it out because I've got half of a container left. So dump that in there. And then we're gonna add um, one can or eight to 10 ounces of your favorite enchilada sauce. Now I recently found this brand, I think it's called From Frontera. Um, and they don't do cans, they actually do these little bags. Um, but I love their sauce, it's super flavorful. This isn't sponsored, this is just what I'm using for my family. Any enchilada sauce will do though. Okay, so add that in. Now let's do some seasoning. So we've got four different seasonings we're gonna add. We're gonna start with a teaspoon of cumin or cumin, however you wanna say it. Just go ahead and dump that in. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of chili powder. Um, I don't feel like this adds heat, it just adds some really good flavor. So don't be afraid, this isn't, this is not a hot dish at all. Um, then we're gonna do a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, if you are super short on time and you want to make this as easy as possible, you could forego all these seasonings and just add a packet of taco um, seasoning. But I do like just the flavor that this adds by doing all these different, well, um, different seasonings. So do whatever is best for you. So then you are all done. But let me tell you something, because with our recipes, really it's, they, they're very basic recipes. You can add whatever you want to make it your own. But I have been cleaning out my fridge and just trying to use up all the vegetables we had. So I had a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper. I diced it up and I am actually going to add it in with this freezer mill with this meat. The um, In the Instant Pot or in the slow cooker, these are just going to become so soft and flavorful. And I'm just gonna, when I shred the meat up, it's so easy to just include those peppers. So if you've got some extra vegetables you need to throw in or that you need to use up, this is a great recipe to throw them into. So you can see, I just added those peppers on top and we are good to go. So this is going to stay good in your freezer for up to 90 days, which is so nice because now I can pull it out and be like, okay, tonight we'll have enchiladas. I'll cook the meat, 
and then we'll roll them up and we'll be good to go. So now that's what I'm gonna do. I actually cooked the meat earlier today, so it's in the Instant Pot ready to go, and I'm gonna roll it up and show you how I make these. So I'll set these aside, kind of move all this stuff out of the way, and we'll get rolling. Um, if you've tried this recipe before, I would love to hear how you liked it. You can leave a comment below while I kind of just clear the space a little bit. And we will dive right in. Okay, so like I said, I cooked this earlier today in my Instant Pot and it has actually been sitting on low for almost seven hours. That is probably my number one tip when it comes to cooking a roast. I like it to cook on, like cook for its cooking time. I put it in in the morning and then I just let it sit on low for a couple of hours because that just makes the roast so fall apart tender and just so good. So I'll take that lid off. I know you can't see in there. Let's see if I can show you. There's the roast, and I actually added a couple peppers to that one too. I had a lot of peppers I had to get rid of and use up. So using two forks or whatever you want, um, you just need to shred the meat. I'm actually gonna pull it out. I think that will be easier if I can pull out this roast and shred it up. So real time, this is how it is. So there is our roast. Awesome, it is so tender. And then there's tons of sauce in there too, which is where there's so much of the flavor. So if you want to, you can add the roast back in after you shred it up, or you can just drizzle some of that sauce on top, which is probably what I will do. Okay, so you can see with these two forks, I'm gonna move up a little bit closer so you can see. Hopefully that's good. It's just kind of falling apart. All that I'm kind of doing is just pulling gently with my two forks and it just shreds right apart. And I feel like that's because it sat in the Instant Pot on that to keep warm setting for a couple hours. Plus the flavor is so good because it's been sitting in those juices for so long. Okay, once you kind of get it all shredded like this, got one more piece that I'm working through. Almost there. Okay, like I said, if you want to, you can put it back in the pot with all the juices, or I just like to add a little bit of the juice on top. And what I do is I usually get like a measuring cup or just some type of scoop, and I can use that to pour it on. Okay, got that all shredded just like that. We'll set these forks aside. I'm gonna grab a measuring cup really quick. Whatever you want to use. You can use a big spoon even. And I just kind of go in and just use it to kind of just moisten that meat a little bit, add a little bit more flavor. And it's easier as I roll them up into enchiladas. It's not super juicy. Okay, well, it's good to go. I'm going to move this instant pot and then we'll roll up the enchiladas. Okay, so I have a 9 by 13 pan here. I'm just gonna spray the inside with some nonstick cooking spray because I feel like that just helps clean up so much easier. My kids do dishes, so any way I can make it easier for them is good in their book. I'm gonna grab one plate. This is where I'm gonna roll my meat. And so you can use any type of tortilla that you want. I'm just using a regular just flour tortillas. Some people prefer corn tortillas. Whatever you like for enchiladas, go ahead and use those. And then I am actually going to use some refried beans. So just as a way to stretch my enchilada meat a little bit further, we have six people in our family, so I want to be sure that I'm making enough enchiladas to feed all of them. Um, if the meat is not enough, I like to usually add a little bit of beans. So tonight I just have some canned refried beans that I warmed up in the microwave, so they're all soft and ready to go. And I usually add a scoop of refried beans to the bottom, just to the tortilla. And then I scoop a little bit of the meat on top. So I'm using tongs to get the enchilada meat because it is so juicy and good. So I kind of squeeze out the moisture a little bit. You don't, absolutely don't have to. That's just what I prefer. And then we're gonna roll up. So there you go. There's your enchiladas. Now. You know that we love freezer meals. We love quick and easy meals that take just a few minutes to prepare. 
And so if you aren't part of our freezer room membership, you might want to check it out. If you are looking for quick and easy recipes, especially as we head into the back to school season and just all the craziness that comes with fall, um, our freezer room membership gives you 10 easy fr um, freezer meal recipes every single month. But what's great about them is even if you don't want to make freezer meals with them, they're just great easy recipes to have for those busy days when you need a quick and easy dinner. I say easy a lot. We are all about easy. Like with all of us being moms and we have so many kids between all of us, between all six sisters, there are 22 kids. So we get it. We understand how busy mom life is. And so any way that we can help you and make it a little bit easier, that's what we're all about. So let me roll this up. Okay. So we'll just keep rolling, but if you ha ever have questions, and I'll leave a link to the Freezer Mill membership if you want those 10 Freezer Mill recipes every single month that are exclusive to our membership community. Plus, we're going to send you our most favorite shredded chicken um, recipe that's like super versatile. You can use it for anything and use it in as a Freezer Mill. And then you pull out that frozen chicken, and we're going to give you also uh 30 extra recipes that you can make with just that frozen chicken you can also use a rotisserie chicken if you don't want to use um make your own frozen chicken but so that's included in the freezer mill membership that's um super versatile chicken recipe and then also the 30 recipes of what you can make with that so we just try that membership is just to help make your life a little bit easier when it comes to getting dinner on the table Okay, I'm almost done rolling all these enchiladas. If you ever have a question though, feel free to leave a comment. We'll be sure to be watching our comments and getting to them. Um, but hopefully, you'll have to let me know if you try this. And like I said, you can cook it in your slow cooker or your Instant Pot. And then once you get these all rolled, we do cook them in your oven. So a lot of people will be like, wait a minute, that's not an Instant Pot recipe. You actually have to cook it in your oven. And it's just mostly to melt the cheese and to kind of make your enchiladas all come together. So yeah, I guess you do have to use your oven a tiny bit, but most of the bulk, the bulk of the work is done in your slow cooker, your Instant Pot, because let's be honest, the star of the show is this yummy roast, this Mexican shredded roast that's so good. So this is where all the magic happens and that's done in your slow cooker or your Instant Pot. Okay, I've got one more to roll, just like that. It's much more fun to have people here watching and helping while I'm rolling enchiladas. Usually I'll go live when I am cooking dinners and it's so much more fun to have people to talk to. I mean, when you're cooking by yourself, it's not that, it's just not as fun. So I'm glad that you are here. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so we got all our enchiladas finished. What I'm gonna do, let me just wipe off my hands grab a paper towel. So I'm going to take one more can of enchilada sauce or mine's in a bag and I'm going to pour that on the top. Some people also like to put cheese inside their enchiladas. I forgot to mention that. You do whatever feels best for you. Okay, so just pour that can on top. Try to cover all the enchiladas like I did here and I'm going to top it with some cheese. I should have opened this before. Let me grab some scissors really quick. Okay, and I'm just using Mexican, like a shredded Mexican cheese. You just use what you have on hand. Like cheddar cheese would be awesome. Um, Monterey Jack would be super good. Just whatever you have is going to be perfect. This one is like a four cheese Mexican cheese. It's got all kinds mixed together, but I just like the, du the dual color, like the yellow and the white. Whatever you have is gonna be perfect. So cover it in cheese. You can go as cheesy as you want. I've added about a cup here. And then I just like to top it with some sliced tomatoes and some cilantro. But you can add, if you want toppings, great. If you don't, that's fine too. You just do whatever is going to work for you. Okay, so we got that added. And then I'm gonna throw just some fresh cilantro on top that I already chopped up. And there we go, dinner is done. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. I usually, if I have time, I'll cook it at 350 for about 20 minutes. Um, but if you are short on time, sometimes I will throw this in 
at like 450 and cook it for 10 minutes. And that seems to do the trick too. The goal is to just melt the cheese and kind of let all those flavors meld together. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you can see how easy it is to use a freezer meal because I didn't have to do any work this morning as I was putting it into my Instant Pot, took it from the freezer, put it in my Instant Pot, dinner cooked all day long, and then all I had to do was take a couple of minutes, roll these enchiladas when the meat was done cooking. You saw how fast and easy it was. Then that's how dinner should be. Quick, easy, but still tastes so good for your family. So if you want this recipe, I'll put a link in, in the description to it. It's our Instant Pot shredded beef enchiladas but like i said you can make it in the slow cooker too and then if you ever want to join our freezer mill membership just go to freezermills.sixsisterstuff.com forward slash membership and we will get you those 10 recipes every single month plus our shredded chicken recipe that we love and use for everything and the 30 recipes that go with that shredded chicken recipe that you can use when you need a quick dinner in a hurry so by the end of the year there'll be 150 easy go-to recipes. You'll want to check it out. But thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'm excited to be back with you live next time. Sorry we had to pre-record this as we are planning and strategizing all the fun things that are going to be coming your way from Six Sister Stuff. But until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody.